In this video, I'm going to show you a really, really effective defense for the bunch meta uh, offense. Just kind of a simple little way that you can handle a lot of, uh, of the effective concepts that are coming out of bunch this year, specifically uh, with C routes and some of that stuff. So we're going to get into this real quick for you guys. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And then if you want to join our Patreon, make sure that you uh, just basically click the link down in the description. The Patreon is where we get, get access to all of our eBooks. Today I'm going to be breaking down a tip out of our Big Nickel over G defense. Um, if you want to get the full ebook, like I said, it's in the Patreon. But we're going to be talking about um, just kind of a little coverage that you can use that is really, really effective, uh, specifically for bunch right now. And you can do this out of anything. It's really more conceptual, but I just wanted to show you um, this is one of the best adjustments that you can make against bunch for a couple different reasons, and it has to do with how effective man-to-man -man coverage is. So we're going to use cover six to show it but you can do this out of other things okay so the first thing is we turned our match coverage to on and what you're going to notice with this when we have a match concept it doesn't really matter who runs a corner route to the right side of the screen the match coverage is going to do a really good job as you saw right there it's bagging the corner route to the right side um, you'll also notice with this that it doesn't again it doesn't matter who runs the corner so in this example the, the number two is going to run the corner and you see that it's going to bag the corner out every single time so match coverage is a really good way to take away flooding combinations um, to the bunch side it's also not too bad this year at taking away um, for example verticals right or some kind of like double crossers um, you know double crossers style of play so let me just motion, motion this back back here um, but you know something like this uh, with maybe like a tight end flat or something you'll see here that the inside quarter actually does a pretty good job as you see there running with the crosser so the match coverage side of the cover six or the the uh, cover four side of the cover six is really good for handling a lot of what's going to be ran out of bunch and because man coverage is so effective this year we can use man coverage to handle some of the really effective things that are going to go on on the back side let me give you an example of one of those routes and that is a post route right so let's say you know we're facing someone and they run a concept like this kind of a double ends play and what you'll see here is this deep half will do a really good job of matching as you saw it was matching uh, the post route to the number one receiver really really well now the big issue with this um, formation really honestly um, the best route against match in this formation is this C route to the left side you'll see here um, it kind of out leverages the deep half um, to the sideline okay so what can we do to kind of handle or combat that 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 reality well it's actually relatively simple all we're going to do here is we're going to outside third the cornerback that is on the solo receiver side and then what i like to do is take this guy that right here david and we're going to man him up onto the running back and then I like to drop a defensive lineman into a bluff blitz assignment. So you see here, we have man coverage on the running back if the running back does go out on a route. And so now what you'll see is if they run this C route, I'm gonna put a wheel route as well. A lot of times what'll happen is this will create kind of a bracketed coverage on the number one receiver. And it makes it much, much more difficult uh, to throw this. Now you might wanna press your coverage. You know, I like to shade outside with match coverage this year. Um, I just think it's really, really effective. And you'll see here, you see how you get that nice little press animation. And then he's kind of bagging on that route. But the other part of this that is really important is if we get a combination that looks kind of like this, where, you know, maybe they're going to try to throw the skinny post. Now you still have that deep half on the left side that is going to match this, this uh, skinny post. You also have, of course, the vertical hook um, if you wanted to leave that as well. So what are the main combinations that they could run or another kind of key uh, adjustment that you can make with this is just simply hard flatting this, um, you know, this linebacker. So you'll have your bluff blitz from your defense tackle. Now you have a hard flat here from the linebacker. And again, you're gonna have that double or that bracketed coverage on the post route. This is really, really effective, um, you know, just in case they run something like a little quick crosser now you've got this little drag here and again you're seeing that that deep half will do a really really good job of matching onto the post 
Now, another way that we could handle this formation to this left side is we could man up the safety onto the number one receiver, and then we could man the uh, cornerback onto the running back. So you see here, it looks something like this. And then if we get a crosser from right to left, then we could either drop this vertical hook into a, um, a hard flat, or we could user him as well. So you'll see right here, what this is really good about is you'll see that this is gonna do a really good job of taking away that running back quick throw, and you're still gonna get that really nice man coverage or matching concept onto the number one receiver. Now, the one thing that I will say that's really good about this specific adjustment, especially against uh, bunch formation, is let's say, for example, that they run that C route concept that is so popular. Uh, what you'll see here, especially if we shade outside, we shade our coverage outside, what you should see here is that this guy will actually do a decent job. There he didn't play it perfectly by any means, but a lot of times if they block their running back, which is a very popular thing uh, to do this year, is to block your running back against you know blitzes or people that can blitz you, they'll block their running back and they'll do something like, you know, let's say a setup that looks kind of, you know, like this, uh, you know, something simple like this. And what you'll see with this is if the block, if the running back blocks this guy, you'll actually get a double team on the C route and it makes it a, a much tighter uh, window to be able to throw the football to the outside. So again, one of my favorite things to do is to utilize these little man ups in key situations. So, you know, again, if it's a key, you know, situation, it's likely they're going to go to something like that. I could do some kind of defensive shell that looks like this out of a cover six, because again, cover six is such an adaptable coverage and it's really easy to make adjustments from. You see how that, see how that cross man really can do a decent job at coming back um, and handling, handling that C route. You know, I think this is one of the better uh, coverages against bunch for many reasons, one of which being its versatility, its ability to handle you know, several different things that your opponent can do, primarily being that route right there. As you see there, the cross man ends up doing a really, really good job of handling it. So that's how you can kind of adapt your cover six a little bit to the meta of what they're actually doing when they're gonna be attacking you in bunch sets. Now, another reason why this is really good is because let's say that they run a corner route to the number two receiver and they motion out. Now, this is not gonna stop it 100% of the time. But what I want you to watch is I just want you to watch how this plays. You should see that the um, corner route is not like, it's not like wide open. It's like a little bit more of a tighter window uh, in which they need to be able to throw the ball. So uh, you'll see here again, I'll just motion this guy. Uh, let me just motion this guy outside. But this is a way that a lot of bunch players like to uh, kind of combat um, match coverage this year is they're just going to motion this guy out and they may do a corner route that looks kind of like like this, if you will. And so what you'll see here is that quarter zone up top can sometimes do a pretty good job of driving on the route, as you saw right there, and he's able to take this away. This is primarily found in a cover six coverage. Now, another thing that you can do with this is let's say that they send, you know, let's say they send everybody vertically. So they do something like, like this. Let me put this guy on a post. You know, they do something like this. Watch how this coverage is gonna kind of change a little bit. You see here that the quarter flat actually does a really good job of matching onto him. So I'll show you kind of a finicky little adjustment or something that you can you can kind of try. Um, I do think this is fairly decent, again, for any kind of deep flooding combination. You know, but let's say they did something like this. And let's say you take the safety and you man him up on the tight end when they motion out, only when they motion out, you'll notice that using these man ups at key points and key times can kind of change your match principles. You saw there the three receiver hook actually matched the, the deep corner route. So that is how you can kind of use the match coverage to really handle a lot of the different things that your opponent's gonna throw your way, as well as one last thing I wanna show you, when they go to a motion over like this, let's say they run a corner route, you know, maybe they do something to this extent, this is gonna cancel match on the right side, but you'll notice that the deep half on the left side will still match that skinny post to the middle of the field. So it's another way that we can kind of get at a really, really great match principle against a formation that is hard to match when they go to quads. So just a little bit about why cover six is such a good defense for a bunch this year. If you want to learn my entire uh, Big Nickel over G defense or my entire match defense, 
both ebooks are in our patreon the link is in the description below it's only ten dollars to sign up thanks for watching the video and hope to see you guys at the patreon